All right, we just finished up a great leg workout, and of course, it's even better because I have uh, my beautiful girlfriend here, and we just really killed legs. I mean, my legs are smoked for sure. Um, you know, changing the training up, did some uh, split squats, so that was definitely a, a game changer in the routine right now, so uh, that was really good. But overall, I'll, I'll stop rambling. We're going to jump into some questions and comments that came in, uh, both on yesterday's video, uh, which was day 117, an arm day, and then we're going to hit a few of the questions and comments that came on uh, the questions and comments and shout out video that I had uh, in reference to uh, day 116. So uh, we're going to get started with, again, the arm day, which came in yesterday. First one is from Barrett's Privateers. Let's go. Currently doing back. All right. Great. That's awesome. Uh, Barrett's Privateer. I love it. Uh, always comment on the channel. Truly appreciate it. So shout out to you for that. Hope you smash the back. Next one is from Matthew Strength with the emojis. Of course, as always, shout out to Matthew Strength for the emojis. We love it. The next one is from Gorilla J. I was just about to take a nap, but I'll have to put that on hold. I got some lifting to do. Great. Awesome. I just love it. It's Again, as I always say, it's a two-way street. We inspire each other. So uh, I'm glad the video got you rocking and rolling, and I hope you smashed it as well. So shout out to you for that. Next one is from Alan Dolnick uh, with the arm emojis. All right, Alan, shout out to you. Appreciate all the comments and questions on the channel. And the next one is from Medium X 3241. Easy bar is my favorite for biceps, while standard dumbbell curls seem to target the forearms a bit more, but it's a good to change up every now and then. Yeah, absolutely. And um, again, one of the things that I always say is switching up and keeping variations into your routines and your splits, especially for me right now with the no days off is a great way uh, to keep recovery in check and feeling good. So switch up your bars, switch up your grips. Uh, I do like the easy bar as well. Um, you know, of course, I love barbell curls and, uh, you know, but the easy bar gives a nice change up. So shout out to that. Next one is from Twinkie Terror. Do you ever train grip specifically? If you did, what would you do? No, I don't. There, I mean, we've gone in powerlifting. You know, we, we both competed and grip was, you know, a factor, obviously, uh, especially with deadlift. Uh, so we did some specific grip training. Never were too, I was never too consistent in it. Um, and I don't. So what, what, I go, what I usually do, and as I've said in many videos, uh, is, you know, get rid of the straps uh, when you can, you know, use straps when you think you need them, but get rid of the straps and work on um, not using straps and just use your grip for that. And then I also encourage hammer curls. Do a lot of hammer curls with the dumbbells, whether that's from the side to the front, um, and do a lot of hammer curls. That'll definitely work on your grip for sure. But no, I do not do specific grip. We also did farmer's carries a bit farmers and plate carries, holds. Plate holds, farmer's carries. So, so things. So yeah, if you want to do specific things, um, I think using fat bars, uh, using fat grips, um, and doing plate hold, plate pinches, I mean, different things like that, obviously, um, you can get some grippers and, and work on that. Uh, but again, there's, you know, it all depends on what, everybody's grip's different. Some people need the work, some people uh, don't. But I, but I, the easiest way for me to, to, to kind of give advice to that is just when you, don't, when you don't need straps, don't use them. Try to use, go week on, week off. Go a week with straps and a week without straps, you know, when you do your lifts. Okay, this one is from Tyler Cunningham, 4311. No sound but cold steel clanging. Absolutely. Shout out to that. Uh, that's the old school way. You, when you hear that iron banging and clanging, it's absolutely amazing. It's a great sound, so appreciate that uh, comment. This one is from Mr. Joey TTT. He says, you're a monster, dude. Shout out to that. Uh, just uh, pushing myself regardless. As I always say, the training will form uh, whatever physique, whatever body it's going to form. So definitely appreciate the comment, though. This one is from Alliance OG. I'm glad I subscribe to you. Every time I see your videos in my feed, it reminds me and pushes me to keep getting my muscle up. All right. Shout out to you. Keep pushing yourself. Keep going. Keep at it. Stay consistent. Stay focused. And just make sure you're pushing yourself every single time you train. Put, keep pushing yourself. Al, Aljandro Pierre, 512. Good training. Good night from Spain. All right. Thank you. Shout out to that. Appreciate that. Shout out to Spain. Uh, this is from user 
QZ9JN6QV5U says, cool dude. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate the comment. Right back at you. This is from Mr. Zess Ozadfrac, 7790. What's the weight on those dumbbell curls? Uh, the dumbbell curls yesterday were, I did a drop set from 70s to 50s. Uh, and then my final set was a drop set, uh, 60s, 50s, and then 40s, I believe. Um, so the, the fourth set was 70s to 50s uh, for a drop set. And then the uh, fifth set, I believe, was 60s, 40s, and, or 60s, 50s, and 40s. This one is from Rhino Hardcore Fitness, FD3XW, Blood and Guts 2.0. Wouldn't you say bicep curls are one of the most acceptable workouts when it comes to compressing form in order to effectively throw up some heavy weight for maximal growth? Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, what do you say? Was it barbell curls or dumbbell curls? Uh, bicep curls. Bicep curls. Yeah, I mean, any curl. Um, you know, the bicep is a, is a muscle that I think can get worked and worked and worked. Um, you'll notice I train arms and or try to hit the biceps and triceps twice a week. I think they can take on a, a really uh, heavy load as far as you know training and pushing it twice a week, but also a variation between heavy uh, work, but then some really kind of isolated work to keep the biceps you know strong is definitely key. Nye says that workout was fire. Thank you, Nye. Shout out to you. Appreciate all the comments. It was definitely a great workout. Appreciate all the comments and questions on the channel. We we truly appreciate it. Um, thank you for that. Monster Intimidating Man says, save some weights for the rest of us. Basement gym is the is beast. Absolutely. Basement gyms are the way to go. Garage gyms, home gyms, absolutely. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll try to. Maybe I'll try to save some weights for everybody else. Harry NY7NO. Hey, mate. Love the content. Just wondering what type of work you're in and why you train so early. I'm in law enforcement and train around 4 a.m. If I'm working a day shift and I find it's taxing at the best of times, how do you combat fatigue? Yeah, so I uh, definitely appreciate the question. I get it a lot. Uh, I am in the behavioral health field in the administrative world of behavioral health, uh, you know, playing a role in a very large behavioral health uh, agency uh, in my area. Um, and again, I train early because, you know, there's meal prep, there's busy days at work. Uh, if you know about the behavioral health world, I mean, it's just 24-7. Um, and then, of course, I have two kids that are in sports. Uh, and then my beautiful girlfriend here, uh, we love to spend time with each other. Um, so I just push myself to get up. And over the years, I've really trained my body to adapt to morning uh, and get it done. But like I said, between, you know, uh, getting meals ready, uh, busy work schedule, and a bunch of stuff happening after work, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I just like to get it done. So that's what I do, and that's uh, kind of how I train my body to adapt to this, uh, to that time in the morning. Pete Miller, 1565, says, BG, you're absolutely crushing it. And I'm talking about your channel as well as your workouts. Dude, your arms are bigger than most people's legs. Shout out to Peter Miller. As always, Peter Miller, you, uh, you know, your comments, questions, everything that you've done on the channel is just uh, truly appreciated. So shout out to that comment, of course. Emang 2010, definitely beyond bodybuilding with the technique and everything you're doing. Absolutely. If you're following along, if you're subscribed and, and kind of watching everything unfold, um, that, com that comment is perfectly uh, fitted for an example of what this channel is all about. This is beyond bodybuilding. This is beyond competition and physique and all of that. Um, this is way different, and I'll just kind of leave that right there before I get on a, a rant on that. So I uh, appreciate the comment slash question. This is from Strelnik off 1974. Bro, great. Do you always <coughs> do French presses with this technique? Have you tried pulling your elbows back with this technique? How do you fill your triceps? Yeah, so uh, flared elbows and elbow, keeping your elbows tucked, flared when it comes to French press or skull crushers or any kind of uh, pressing movement like that. Uh, my, my only feedback and comment back to that would be just the muscle mind connection over 28 years is just there. Regardless of what my form looks like, I can connect the mind and hit that tricep and fill it right up uh, regardless of where my, you know, whether I'm flared or tucked. Um, yes, 
beginners and people early on with triceps uh, and doing tricep movements, it's definitely important that you keep your eye triceps in. But again, if you want to overload and put some heavy weight on the bar, your elbows might flare, uh, and that's okay as long as you um, have adapted to a mind-muscle connection to really hit the, hit the tricep. I never have an issue not getting blood pumped into my bite or my uh, triceps uh, for any kind of movement like that. So appreciate the comment though. Carrot crack. 45-42. Hell yeah, watching this on my rest day has me motivated. Shout out to that. Appreciate the comment. Um, ACH Fitness 3874 says, You are the best. The arm workout was powerful. The bicep drop sets were great. I look forward to every video of yours. I have never had such motivation. Carry on, bro. You're a beast. Dude, I, listen, truly appreciate that. Um, I don't really have a comment back other than saying truly appreciate the comment. Keep pushing yourself and keep working hard. Um, you know, everything will come into, into what it needs to be. So just keep pushing yourself. Appreciate that comment. Lampard F2333, how big is the dungeon and how old are you? Cool flipping workouts, dude. Keep going. Um, I am 39, and I don't know the square footage of, of the gym slash dungeon. Um, it fits everything I need to fit in it, and I think that's the most important part. I do have a couple more pieces that I'm definitely going to have to squeeze in here. Um, but again, I don't know the exact measurements. It's definitely big enough to hold what I have uh, with some decent room to move around, of course. Uh, and I'm also a firm believer um, that you can always fit gym equipment somewhere, regardless of the size uh, uh, of the area you have. So there's always a place to squeeze something in. Um, but again, I'm not sure the exact size, but again, appreciate the uh, comment and question. Outlaw Josie Wales says, we both hammered out arms yesterday. Damn near exact same exercises. Chest today for me. Keep grinding, Hammer. Awesome. Thanks, Outlaw Josie Wales. Appreciate it. Hope you smash those arms. Um, it's That's great. Awesome. Appreciate the comment. This is from Troll Tugga, 6658. Much ego in training. Ego is not for body. Yeah, I, yeah, absolutely appreciate the comment. I get it, absolutely, I understand that. You gotta keep your ego in check, and again, as I've said in videos, and you may be pertaining, it may be related to this comment, is um, you know this iron will humble you and keep your ego in check for sure, if you respect it. Uh, if you don't, that's easily seen, and uh, those people out there um, are not going to get what they want out of this, so shout out to that. Okay, this one is from Fredel Povret. 3841. If I watch your video, I have to work out. So I'm actually working out every day, bro. Thanks to you. Fred Joe, that's great, man. I love it. And appreciate all the comments on the channel. You better keep pushing it. Keep pushing yourself. Uh, find out what works best for you through this process. If you're having no days off right now, feel it out. Get in tune with your body um, and just see how it works and figure out you know what works best for you. But I am uh, that is awesome that you're killing it every day, man. I love it. So shout out to that. All right, our camera slash battery died uh, during the uh, downstairs post workout, so we're back upstairs. We're gonna finish these questions and comments. We got to get ready to go to a basketball game, so uh, we're gonna hit a few more questions and comments, and then we got to get rocking and rolling. <clears throat> okay, the last one in the arms is from Maddie Gonzalez, 2768. He looks like the Brazilian Fabio Giga, only in the face because in the body, no way, <laughs> with laughing emojis. Oh, there you go. So shout out to that comment. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to jump into the questions and comments shout out video uh, that came in uh, that I did yesterday that was in reference to the day 115 day. Um, so we're going to jump into those quick. This is from Outlaw Josie Wales. It looks like breathing. Love the motivation. Really looking forward to the supplement video. Would be awesome to even know your dosages taken on full stomach or empty and your timing of day taking them. Going to be a great real world info for us meatheads. Appreciate you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely going to go into a uh, supplement video, go through supplements that uh, that I take, but also supplements that I um, aren't maybe not currently taken, but then I, but have a history of taking and think work really well. So we'll definitely hit that, but appreciate that. And I am uh, definitely, <clears throat> definitely thinking about it. This is from Dave Kenderdine. BG, regarding your response about the industry today, I could mm -hmm. not have said it any better. Salute, brother. We have to grow this channel to spread the word about days gone by. Dave, absolutely. Um, 
uh, no comment back to that. Obviously, you heard you know the the little bit of rant that I had. Uh, we're on the same page, hundred uh, percent, and we definitely got to spread the message out there in reference to you know just this old school hardcore training uh, you know vibe and style. It's something that's definitely lost. And again, like I talked a little bit about in the video, um, you know that you're referencing. Uh, it's just something we got to do. So truly appreciate that, and we're definitely on the same page. Uh, but we got to bring it back. It's all been lost. So shout out to that. This one is from Alex Evans, 9852. Hey, you answered me. Thanks, big man. Hear you. Thank you for the shout out and your detailed explanation. I agree. It's definitely all about trial and error and finding what works for you. I'll keep watching your videos and perhaps I'll start introducing more volume into the workouts. Love the channel. Keep it up. Absolutely. Shout out to you. Appreciate it. Um, you know, definitely follow along. It's, it's awesome to have you. So uh, definitely appreciate it. But like I said in the video, uh, this is all about, you know, one of, the, one of the main points of this channel is really all about showing that, you know, find out what works for you. I mean, the whole philosophy behind no days off is, is just not about no days off. It's about working out a program, figuring out what works best for you and doing that regardless of what other people are doing. So uh, definitely appreciate that comment and uh, look forward to some more uh, from you on the channel. This one is from Joe Calro, 2563. This channel is better than a cheat meal. You are a real MF and appreciate all the knowledge that you're giving us. Keep this channel going forever. Absolutely. Uh, shout out. Appreciate the comment. Uh, definitely will. Truly appreciate that. That's inspiration for us to keep doing what we're doing. So definitely appreciate it. Alan Dolnick, I'm glad I came across your channel because it's rare to see someone doing old school training. And just really thank you for trying to explain every detail. Thank you, brother. Shout out to you, Alan. Appreciate, appreciate you and appreciate all the comments on the channel. So shout out to you. This is from Drug Addict 1776 Old school bodybuilders lived in, lived in and for the gym, trained for both strength and muscle mass, and there was no outside of it. They did the exercises as heavy as possible until they reached maximum repetition. The fundamental thing was the bars and dumbbells and exercises with free weights, a principle that continues to this day. The break did not exceed one minute even when super series were made. They rested little and trained a lot to promote fat burning and body definition since they usually did not do a minimum of cardio. You ate big, you ate super clean, you lived for what you did, which was basically eating and training and sleeping repeatedly for a long time until you achieved the body you were looking for. There was no human being more dedicated to what they did. Wow, shout out to that. Shout out to, what is it, Drug Addict 1776. Um, I love the comment, like the comment, truly appreciate it on the channel. Shout out to you for that, that is awesome. Uh, you know, a little something about the old school uh, philosophies in there. Um, so truly appreciate that, that's awesome. This is from Soul Slash Canula. 5665, question for Blood and Guts 2.0. Does this training help for martial arts? Could you beat someone up easier? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know what the translation over into something like martial arts would be. I would assume uh, building up work capacity and muscle endurance uh, definitely couldn't hurt. So, uh, but I don't know if there's a direct correlation. I, I don't know much about martial arts, but either way, uh, like the concept and appreciate the uh, question. Matthew Strength with the emoji. Shout out Matthew Strength. Strong in condition says, love the rawness of your content, bro. Very refreshing. Uh, strong in condition. Shout out to you. Uh, absolutely appreciate that. Uh, you know it. C trying to keep it as raw and as, as original as possible. Old school way. Uh, hardcore intensity, of course. Uh, and just straight to the point training. Um, also, shout out to you. <coughs> excuse me for the uh, mention uh, on, on your channel. Um, again, uh, guys, if uh, you want to go check that out. Uh, strong and Conditioning's channel uh, mentioned Blood and Guts uh, 2.0 uh, and it was one, one of his most recent videos. So a huge thank you and shout out to that. Truly appreciated uh, on that. But absolutely going back to your comment, uh, can't appreciate that enough because uh, again, keeping this thing raw, original, old school, hardcore, intense is, is what this is all about. So huge shout out to you for that. 
And the last one is from Brandon Looney Tunes fan. You're a great user, my friend. I did give you a shout out. All right. User Brandon Looney Tunes. Love it. Love all the comments on the channel. All right, guys. So with that, we're going to wrap this up. We got to go to a basketball game. And oh, yeah, by the way, tomorrow is a refeed day. Uh, and we are definitely getting ready for it. Uh, as you know, uh, if you heard my uh, recent video, we did end up deleting the content from, from last weekend. It was a great day though. Uh, tomorrow, I promise you, we'll, be, uh, we'll do better than that. We will not accidentally delete any content. Uh, and tomorrow, we do have some things going on. We got a basketball tournament. Uh, so we'll be bouncing around, but the overall goal, don't quote me on it, is to uh, do some calorie counting tomorrow. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, stay tuned for the uh, refeed day for tomorrow. It's going to be a big one. So with that, we're all done here and we'll see you guys for the next lift tomorrow.